Hi and welcome to this video. In this one, we're going to talk about Tailwind CSS Dark Mode in two different contexts. The first one is when the system preference determines the theme of our website. For example, if it's dark, the website is going to be dark. If it's light, the website is going to be light. And the second way is when we have a toggle button to switch between the dark and the light modes. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. To get started, I'm going to generate the simple HTML5 bullet plate and I'm going to insert the Tailwind CSS CDN. Let's add a title to our website and let's save the changes and go live. Next up, let's select the body element and apply some basic styles. I'm going to increase the height to 100 VH. Let's convert it to a flex container. And I'm going to align the items horizontally in the center and vertically in the center. On this section element, I'm going to apply a series of classes. The way dark mode works in Tailwind CSS is that we are going to apply utility classes for light and dark modes using the dark variant. And then by default, Tailwind CSS is going to take a look at your system preference and it's going to apply the dark or light theme based on that. But then we can apply a little bit of logic and then provide a toggle button for the dark mode as well. Let's go ahead and let's apply a border and then I'm going to give the border a dimension Rounded is going to round the corners for us and I'm going to apply padding on the left and right. Supply a little bit of padding on the top and bottom and the maximum width is going to be, uh, max width is going to be screen SM, which is 640 pixels. And then here is where the dark variant starts. So whenever the uh, item is in the dark mode, I'm going to change its background color to zinc 600 and I'm going to change the border color to that color as well. I, and when I toggle between the light and dark mode, I want the colors to transition. Let's go ahead and let's create the title and apply some classes. Let's enlarge the text, provide uh, a color for our text. The uh, font is going to go semi bold and I'm going to provide a margin bottom of two. And the dark variant for this one is going to change the text to white. I'm going to save our changes here we go now since by default the system preference for me that's dark that's why we can see dark here but if you, if i go to personalization or themes on windows 11 and if i try to change this then this is going to change so if i set it to light now it goes light this is how it works by default uh, with tailwind css let's go ahead and let's create the paragraph i'm going to save that and I'm going to apply a color for the light mode and then a color for the dark mode. Which one is going to be applied? The one for the dark mode. And let's change this one more time. Let's toggle this from light to dark so we can see the changes and we can see that it works perfectly fine. Now let's go over creating a toggle button so we can toggle the dark and the light mode. The first thing that I like to do here is to create the toggle button. So I'm going to go on top of the section element and I'm going to create a button and I'm going to basically insert the text toggle. I'm going to give it a position absolute top zero, left zero, and the background color is going to be zinc. The text is going to be Excel and the text color is going to be white. There's going to be 16 pixels of padding on the left and right and eight pixels of padding on the top and bottom. Let's save our changes. There is our toggle button. Now this toggle button, I am going to provide it with a unique class so we can select it with a very, very simple and short JavaScript script and, and toggle this dark and light modes. And that one is going to be dark mode toggle. Uh, we need to apply a keyword to a Tailwind configuration. So if you, are, if you have configured Tailwind through a build process, you need to apply this uh, or write it within the Tailwind configuration file. I'm utilizing Tailwind through a CDN. I'm going to insert it in the head part of the HTML. So I'm going to create a script and in there, let's grab the Tailwind.config object. And within there, I'm basically going to say dark mode class. Let's jump into the bottom part of the web page and here I'm going to create another script. 
I'm going to select the document and through document, I am going to target that toggle button using its unique class within these curly, uh, within these set of quotes, uh, we can write any valid CSS selector. So we are selecting the dark mode toggle class and the dot um, basically says that it's a class. And then I'm going to add an event listener to it. The event is going to be click. We are listening for a click. And when the click happens, we want to run a function. And what is that function? The, what is the function going to do? The function is going to grab the body of the document and it's going to either add a class to it or remove a class from it. The way that we can accomplish that is through toggle. So toggle is really intelligent. If it has a class, it removes it. If it doesn't, it adds it. Let's save our changes. And since we have applied our logic, now the system preference does not control the dark mode of our app but we control it through this toggle. So if I click on the toggle, it goes dark. If I again click on it, it goes light. That is it for this video. See you in the next one.